All right, hello everyone and welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make the SpaceX Starship. So let's start off. Create a new file in Blender and first of all we are going to start with deleting the default cube. So just delete the default cube and add in a cylinder shape. Change the amount of vertices to 8 instead of 32. Go in edit mode and select all the faces and rotate it with uh, 22 and a half degrees. All right, looking good. Now we're going to uh, stretch up everything so it uh, gets a longer shape. And we are going to uh, start with making the um, upper part of the actual starship. So uh, use the extrude tool to extrude it out a little. After that use the scale tool and scale it in. Repeat this a few times and uh, adjust it however you like. Because uh, I would like to say that this is not a exact replica of the actual starship. This is not a one-on-one -on -one remake of the ship it's uh, just the basic shape all right so add in an edge loop by pressing ctrl r or using the edge loop tool because we are going to be creating the wings all right go to the modifier tab and add in a modifier we are going to use the subsurf division modifier and um, Change the amount of uh, subdivisions to uh, to on both the viewport and render tab. All right. Also add in a mirror modifier so that everything we do on the one side it also appears on the other side. All right. Going to face select mode. Select the right face. Uh, inset it, inset the face, and after you've inset the face, scale it up on the Z axis. Now that we've done this, we're going to extrude it out, like so, and scale it in on the Z axis, and position it like so. Very nice. Now we are also going to scale the end of the wing a little bit so it gets smaller on the outside or thinner on the outside. Very nice. All right, now we are going to be working on the top wings. And for this, we're going to repeat the same technique as we did last time but this time we are also going to scale in the two lower edges of these two faces so inset both faces and go into edge select mode select the lower two edges and scale them in so that the faces are nicely aligned with each other. All right, after you've done this, please go back into face select mode and extrude both of the faces. All right, so extrude both of the faces and after you've extruded the faces, please replace the edges until they are nicely aligned with each other, like so. And next step, we are going to scale in both of the faces. So select faces and scale them in. All right, now position or position. All right, now reposition the faces the right way. until you are happy with the results, like so. 
All right. So when you're happy with the results, please add in uh, some edge loop to get more sharper corners. Repeat this a few times until you're happy with the results. All right. So now for my model, I'm just going to uh, scale the tip a little bit on the z-axis, like so. It's more accurate. All right. Next step. We are going to create the, I think they are some sort of landing gear. I don't know what it's called. But we are going to uh, add another edge loop to create a uh, face on the bottom. Select the face and we are going to inset the face. So inset face, like so. Please move it downwards to the bottom of our ship. So select the move tool and move it down, like so. All right. And now we are going to extrude this face, so extrude it out, like this. And after you've extruded it, we are going to add in another edge loop, like so. All right, so right now we're going to uh, add in edge loops on the wings so that uh, we get the corners nice and sharp. All right. Looking good so far. And now we're going uh, to change the back part of the ship. So please select the face here on the bottom, only the uh, only the face on the bottom like this, and uh, make it a little wider, like so. And then select the two edges like this and hit subdivide. This way it uh, gets more straight. Very nice, looking very good. So right now, let's move on to the engines of our Starship. So add in a cylinder, and uh, right now you can uh, change the amount back to 32 to get a nice smooth cylinder. Place it downwards to the bottom of our ship, scale it in a little, and scale it on the Z axis. Hide the cylinder and now we're going to uh, select the ship and go back into edit mode. Select the bottom two parts of our ship and we are going to inset these two faces. And after you've uh, inset the two faces and extrude the faces in. This way we create the space where the actual engines are going to be. So the next step in making the bottom part of the ship, we are going to add in a sphere. So add in a sphere. Yeah, go into edit mode, scale it down a little, and then go into vertex select mode. Go into x-ray mode, select the vertices on the lower part of the sphere and uh, scale it up. This way you get a nice engine shape. Now the Starship has six engines. So we're going to make uh, six engines and we are going to do this by just copy and paste in the shape that we just made. Uh, unhide the cylinder that we've added uh, earlier in the video. To reduce its height, we're going to scale it down on the Z axis. And we go, uh, please go into edit mode and select both of the faces, the top and bottom face of the cylinder. After you've selected both of the faces, please inset the faces and hit delete. This way we get rid of the faces that we've created. Please select both of the edges 
and click on the right mouse button and hit bridge edge loops if I'm right. After we've done this, please delete the vertices where the cylinder interferes with the motors, delete those vertices and fill up the empty faces that we've created, like so. All right, move everything to the um, correct height and length and scale it up or scale it down. Select everything that we've just created except for the Starship model and uh, join them together and join them together and join the shapes together. All right, so this way we've created our Starship model. It looks pretty okay, but there's one thing we need to do to make everything nice and that is um, we have to change the mirror modifier. So go to the modifier tab and open the mirror modifier. So next to axis, you will find bisect and hit X, the X axis. Okay, after that, please change the mer merge, please change the merge limit amount to a very low number, something like uh, 1.001 or something. Just the smallest amount you can get, it will work. So this way the model is nice and smooth. All right. So for the shading uh, and texturing of the ship, there's a link in the description which contains the bump map that we are going to need for this model. So please download the bump map by clicking the link in the description. Otherwise, you're not going to get the nice results because right now we are going to uh, give the ship a nice shading. So, um, first of all, apply both of the modifiers because, yeah, we're done with the ship. Go into the UV editing tab. Please import the bump map and in edit mode, select everything from the rocket Select the complete model and press U on your keyboard and select project from view. So make sure you select the um, side with the landing gear things. Okay, place the model in, a, in the correct way so that the bump up will be placed the right way on our model, like this. Now go back to the shading tab and create a new material and we're going to call this material front because it's the front of our ship. Now load in the bump map. So load in the image, add a bump node and place the color into the height and the normal into the normal. All right, so now all of our, the complete model is covered with the bump map and we don't want that. So please change the settings of our image to clip to extend instead of repeat. So it uh, will only appear once. So please go back into the uh, shading tab. And right now we're going to duplicate the image by pressing Control c and Control v and also add in a glossy shader and a mix shader and add in the image to the glossy shader add it add both of the add them into the mix shader and add the mix shader into the material output because we are going to uh, give our ship that nice chrome effect. All right, this looks good. All right, 
Now we're going to create a new material for the backside of our rocket. So create a new material and give it a new name. Uh, go into edit mode and go into x-ray mode. Go into vertices select mode and select all the vertices from the back part of the ship. Make sure you've selected them all. And if you selected more than just the back, please remove the vertices or deselect the vertices. All right, looking good. Now hit a uh, sign so the back part of the ship gets a new material and change the color of the material to black. And that's it. That's how we've made our SpaceX Starship. Um, I hope uh, you guys like this tutorial. If you did, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.